Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am working on my Artie Maze and a Tattered Dream April design team project and I just thought I might turn on the camera while I work on some ephemera. So this is my big luscious bin of a Tattered Dream stuff. And here's some more trims. There's trims down the side here. Oh my gosh, there's a lot here. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a package in the mail from Denise because I did a couple more orders because she got a whole bunch of new, very fun things in the shop. So go check her out. I'll put her link below this video. So I was just kind of digging through here and picking out some things. Let's see, have I completely cut off your view there? You know what? I might just set this Sorry for hitting the camera. I'm going to set that on the floor. So, um, so I wanted to grab out some stuff to work with. And um, I've kind of talked about this before. When I make something for a journal, I try and make two at the same time. And then I kind of have a little backstock of ephemera. So I know I want to do time cards. I know I want to do a couple of these um, these little library uh, cards. The what did they call that? What did they call that? Card catalog. Card catalog. And then these are perpetual calendars. So I know I want to do those. Um, I'm gonna grab a couple of. This is my stash of coffee dyed guest checks. Grab a couple of those out, and let's see, what else, Denise, would I like to do? Oh, you know, she has, she has these time cards, too, that are just, uh, they're, see, they're a little bit smaller than those. Let's pull out a couple of those. Um, ooh, and how about tags-wise? So tags-wise, I have layaway. I have some coffee dyed layaways. So let's do those. And I have, looks like I just have one. No. Well, I have one of these kind of inventory tags. And a couple of these kind of tags. So let's do those. So there's two of those. Okay. So all those tags and... So, I'm just looking through my bucket here to see if there's any other, oh yes, I got to do some of these little guys. So, just grabbing out these, the little merchandise tags. Let's do, let's pull out two cream color, two pink, and two white. Just for fun. Come on, come out. There we go. And a couple of the pink and a couple of the white. Okay, so that's some fun stuff to play with. So we'll tuck this back in here. I may have to grab that back up if I want to grab something out of it. I also have my snippets and, and little edge pieces, you know, just little this is and that's on the edge too, to think about using. And then um, I also have from Artie Mays some Some little journaling cards that didn't print out that great so maybe I'll cut these up to use somewhere or something okay okay so don't actually know what I'm gonna do yet but you know I do know I'm gonna want my distress ink because I didn't coffee dye these um, perpetual calendars, but I want them to definitely look more more vintage than they do. 
so we'll just this is so funny you guys I don't know if you can see that on camera but my distress distress ink has gold paint in it that was from my granddaughters being here and working on their altar paper clips and I think my granddaughter used this stopper to be um for a little gold glitter paint <laughs> and then it went back in the back in you know I figure the Tim Holtz distress ink is like $6.99 which I know is expensive and all of that but um, you know, I usually buy them when they're on sale and I figure it's well worth it for them to have fun. They, they know that there's rules in Nana's craft room, like, you know, you put the lids back on things and things like that. But, but for the most part, I just want them to have fun and I don't want them to be stressing too much about anything. I just want to let their creative juices flow, you know? So, I'm probably more lenient than I should be, but that's okay, you know. I don't ever want them to feel like, oh, I can't touch things in Nana's craft room because I might hurt them or whatever, you know. So, so I just, if I need a new distress ink, I'll just wait till Tim Holtz stuff is on sale and go get one. <laughs> but it's working just fine. I'm not sure it works right there, but it works all around the other. So, um, yeah, so we'll just distress that up a little bit. And then I had a thought about putting something on the edge of these. So we'll do that. Yeah. Um, so this is actually my third video today, <laughs> but you know, I figure if I'm doing something and you guys seem to like the craft with me, so I'm just, I just turn on my camera and I usually watch it back and think, okay, is this worth putting on or not? And, um, but I, I think it's fun for you kind of to see some things to do with Denise's items in her shop. Um, so what I was thinking, I love this little trim from Hobby Lobby and my design team project is Victorian children. And so it's, you know, little girls and I don't know if I want to cover up the whole thing or if I just want to go down a side. I think let's just go down a side. Oh, gosh, we don't have any scissors. That's not going to work, is it? Okay, so I'm just going to give this a little snip and put that down the side. Don't even know where I'm going to use these in the book or anything. Let me get my sleeves pulled up before I fabric tack. And um, I could sew these, but I just... Didn't, I didn't really want to um, pull my sewing machine over when I have all this stuff on the table. So I'm just going to fabric tack that down. That'll be just fine. Yeah, that'll be just fine. What do you think? Does it need some bling? I think it might. Okay, I don't, I don't, I have a little bit of bling in my, um, in my snippets but not a lot so let's just use a piece of this to go about there and I'm just gonna cut that and just cut a row out of there is my fabric tack in the way so just cut a row off of there and I'll put the rest in my sn snippet thing. But yeah, that that's nice. That dresses it up a little bit, doesn't it? Just put this down here. So I was talking in 
one of my more recent videos about my granddaughters coming for an Easter egg hunt this weekend. Well, that's not going to happen. Shoot. One of my granddaughters has strep throat. My husband has a horrible cough that I think might be the flu, but of course he just thinks it's a cold, so we'll see on that. Um, so yeah, not going to come for Easter. So the bad news is they're not coming, but the good news is I have a weekend to, to do more crafting, which is always welcome, you know. Okay, so I think that's cute. That would be cute to slide into a pocket or something this way or that way. Okay, I like it. Okay, I'm just going to set that up on my sewing machines out of my way. Okay, so this one, what do we want to do with this one? Do we have some different trim? You know, I have this little funky edging from fabric that I used in the journal. I think it was I think it was a pillowcase or something, but it was super shabby chic and I loved it. So I think I might do that on this one. Yeah, let's just run that across the edge and then we'll embellish it up a little bit. Um, I'm thinking I'd have to grab something out of my... I have one of my bins that's an embellishment bin and I might have to grab something out of there because okay that's fun we just grab that let's see um eh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it what I was looking for is some some butterflies but maybe I'll do one of these instead I can I'm thinking one of these little flowers I got these in the wedding section of Hobby Lobby sometimes there's some kind of cute stuff to work with in the wedding supply area just FYI I mean I who would have thought about it <laughs> yeah weddings are we're long past that in our family so pretty much so you know I don't wouldn't have reason really to go to the wedding supply area but but they often have this his and hers brand half price so I saw these little flowers and thought, well, those, you know, I could spray them or do whatever. But I kind of like that just inked up with Distress Ink. Vintage Photo is what I'm using. Okay, so let's use one of Denise's trims. And, of course, it's down here below um, that I'm thinking would be kind of fun is some of this shiny Maybe. Yeah, I think so. I have a lot of my eyelash trims in this little bucket, but the bucket was getting so full. <laughs> and so I want it to show, so I don't want the don't want the circle to be too tight. Okay, let's just go for it here. Ugh, my top of my fabric tack is so goobered up. Okay. Just do a little circle of the fabric tack and lay this in there. And the flower has sticky, but I'm just going to take the paper off of it and Put it in the fabric tack. Cute! I like it. That will do. That will do. So that's fun, right? Yeah. Okay, so a couple perpetual calendars done. That's good. 
Okay, um, the other thing I knew I wanted to do is with one of these, maybe this, well, I don't know, maybe both of them, because I might just make them the same and, because I'll probably only use one in this project and then, um, and then use one in another project. I think I'm, what I'm going to do is, um, put this as a as a pocket at the bottom of the page and then hang a charm off it that's my plan um, so I think I might grab some hole reinforcers because okay excuse all the hopping up and down but when I do one of these sorts I just don't know what I'm going to need, you know? Okay, so I'm going to grab one other thing, which is my Faber-Castell Big Brush Artist Pen. And what I'm going to do is, these are just regular Avery um, hole reinforcers, but if you if I go around it with my with my big brush, then... It just colors it up and makes it look more craft colored. So I'm going to do two of those for the fronts of these. And then the backs I'll just do. They can be white because if these are going to be pockets, nobody's going to see them. Nobody will know but you. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to put these on here. And then I'll use the bulb pins from Denise's shop to hang a little charm off of the bottom of these. So when I glue them, I'll just glue them, you know, like that. And then they could be the pocket. But I'm going to put a whole reinforcer on the back too just to make sure it's good, good and strong. And then my thought was to use some of use some of this Hobby Lobby trim on them. Of course, if they're pockets, you know what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the page and I'm going to paper clip it here and paper clip it here because I want it to be able to be taken off if because um, I want to use this trim and it'd be too hard to journal on is my thought. But I have this trim and I've hardly used it and I think it's so cute so let's just let's just use it on these two they also had this in neutral colors I never bought the neutral colored one but like I say I've hardly used this so partially because it does make it lumpy bumpy and um, I thought, well, how are you going to journal on that? But I think I can make the pocket detachable and then that will be okay. Okay. I guess I could put these two over on this other table so they're kind of out of our way. Okay, so kind of want to cover up that 2005, 2006 if, if this is the one that I use in the vintage or the I keep saying vintage children, it's Victorian children is her, um, is the kit that I'm using. And then, just going to pop that over that. Cute. Pull that down a little bit so you can see the, yeah, and then I'll just hang a little bulb pin and I think I'll put a button and a charm on there. Yeah, that'll be cute. Cool. Okay. We're making progress. You guys always help me make progress. I feel like in some ways I um, get more done when I film a craft with me just because I can't take forever thinking about something. I just have to do it because otherwise the video will be five hours long, you know. So, oops, 
uh, the button and the glue. Okay, those are cute. I'm looking at it, deciding if I want something up there, trim-wise. Mm -hmm. No, what, what would that do? Let me grab this. Ugh. Guys, if I fall on the floor reaching for things, <laughs> your big crash. Don't worry, I'll be okay. My room is carpeted. <laughs> This is some trim from Denise's shop that's really kind of cool. But I don't know. I, I like it by itself better than with something else. Okay. Well, I can always add something there if I wanted to, I suppose. Okay. So we'll let those dry. And um, I knew I probably wanted to make a pocket with like a pocket on the back um, here's what I was just thinking about I was thinking about Tracy Fox's um, cards and how they're long and skinny and did I want to do that okay so this would be too long anyway it would need to be folded up Okay. Well, I'm wondering if I fold it up there, making a slight tuck on the other side. Well, let's just play with it for a little bit and see what we get. Um, so I had some leftover paper that... This is from the kit that didn't, didn't really print out perfectly. And so I thought I didn't use it for the pages, but I might use it here for a little pocket on this side. Um, let's just do this. I don't want to grab my paper cutter either. <laughs> uh, okay, so... This is not, it's, this is just copy paper, so for a pocket, I think I want to back it onto something. Okay, so what do I have within reach to back it on? How about a file folder? You know what, this is not quite big enough, but... I mostly want it for the top, for taking things in and out, so I think it'll be just fine. Just gonna kind of back the top of it a little bit, so. And I think I want, believe it or not, I have it handy. I think I want my um, corner punch. Oh, jeez, that was hard to punch. And... Okay, I am just going to use... I think I'll just use my tape runner. And then that's easy. And we'll just... Stick this on there. Okay, so yeah, that'll look cute. Okay, so I want um I want to glue this down on this side. Just use a little aliens on this side. So that it's a little tuck there and then 
I want to distress this because it looks a little pristine up against the up against the coffee dyed. It's kind of a little too a little too perfect. And then I actually already have cut out and grab one of these that I can hang from it. Okay, so I'm going to grab my crocodile if I can do it without dumping my box of stamps here. I did it. That hurt my shoulder, but I did it. <laughs> oh, you guys, I had an MRI the day before yesterday, and I don't know. If you've been watching my channel a long time, you know that I dislocated my right shoulder and have been having trouble with it ever since. Um, well, I just got a call from the doctor after looking at the MRI, and looks like I'm gonna have to have surgery doesn't make me happy I'm I'm scared it's gonna goof up my crafting is most of it because it's my right shoulder so I don't know I guess we'll just see I have to get it fixed though because it hurts all the time and I've been in PT for like four months and they've kind of done all they can do they're like yeah you're gonna need to do something else and so okay I have no luck doing um, eyelets with my crocodile so I have to I have to take them into the other room that's cement and um, and pound them with a hammer <laughs> So, um, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, let's, let me grab my ephemera from the kit and see if there's something fun to put on this tag. How about, oh yes, how about little girl? I think I like this one. Um, yeah, so anyway, I don't know. I'll keep you posted on that. I mean, you'll hear from me, no doubt. I'll, I may be the one-armed journal maker here before long, but <laughs> yeah. But I have bone spurs in there, and I have um, and I have torn things, and ugh. so they're gonna have to do some some rooting around in there, and I don't. I'm not looking forward to that, but. But if I get, then I can do PT and I can actually get all the way recovered. That would be awesome. So all this stemmed from last winter, shoveling snow up above my head because it's so stinking much snow here. So yeah, so anyways, that happened. Let's see, what did, I feel like I kind of want something behind her. What about like some, I'm digging in my little box of goodies here. Um, how about some of this? This is just, this is a big craft bag that I just um, used a roller stamp and stamped up the whole thing and I just use little pieces of it all the time and it's very handy. So we'll do that. 
anyway, sorry to be moaning about my shoulder, but um, it's it's what's happening in my life right now. So it's kind of what came to mind to to talk about. But yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm just I'm just a goer. I like to I like to be going. I like to be doing. I like to be busy all the time, and anything that gets in the way of that makes me cranky. <laughs> So, so, well, yeah, I like that better. That kind of, uh, what would you say, anchors her a little bit more. So, and then we'll, I'll figure out the string later and I'll get the eyelets put in and stuff. And you'll see the finished tag if you watch the video of my design team project, I guess, huh? So, yeah, okay, we'll do that. Let's get that glued up a little bit. And Hope you can't hear my husband walking upstairs. He's, he's walking across the kitchen and it's hardwood floors and it's like clump, clump, clump. <laughs> Hello, I'm filming down here. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, and so then I'm just going to layer this on there. And once I get this layered on, we'll kind of stop at that point and I'll put the eyelets in and stuff later. Oops. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of put her... Middle, she's like the perfect width for this too. So that's really fun. Okay, and then that will just hang from there. And I'll put, hmm, maybe. You know what I think I'm going to use to do is this trim from Denise. Because that will really pick up the colors in that. Okay, so once I get those on there, I'll, I'll use that. Okay, so we can call this one partially done. Okay, so what else do we want to do? Um, I think... I think... You know, I have this trim too. I got this at a garage sale and I love it. So I want to do something with it. Let's let's maybe do a guess check, but let's maybe look and see if there's. I love this little girl. Let's just kind of loosely cut around her. Every once in a while, my printer prints with lines on it. I think it's time to clean the printer heads when that happens and well, maybe we'll just cut that. Um, but it's okay for a piece of ephemera I think okay so we just want a collage on the, the back of that do I want right behind her do I have some I could use the paper from the kit, but I kind of like that. Let's just do it. I want the, all the all the edges to be rough. There we go. From there, her her dress is the same color as that ribbon I just showed you, so maybe I'd like to use some of that on there. Hmm. 
kind of like a little more color too. But let's see what this would be like, like down the edge. Ooh, that's cute, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's just start a going. I'm gonna give this some edging. And, ooh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's see if this will work once I get this. Right? Yes. Okay, I like that. I think I kind of want to go around the guest check too. It's it's coffee dyed, but I like giving it a little frame. Take off the bottom. Give that a little bit of a okay. And then I want to poke out the little hole just to have it there. Like that. And then Maybe just kind of put this across there. And then I'm going to run that ribbon up the side. Okay, we have a plan. We have a plan. So, okay, let's see. Glue it up. Yes, I like it. I think that'll be good. And I should probably check the time on the video to see if I'm like, keeping you forever. I had one sweet subby say, quit worrying about the time. <laughs> you just want to watch what you're doing. Which is so nice. I'm like, okay. So I kind of want that right under that C there, I think. There, I think. Maybe make it straight, you know, details, details. And then let's put on the little girl, which I'm going real thin with the glue to try to keep it from buckling too much. Although, usually, if you mush it around pretty good, it's going to be okay. A okay. Okay, and then we're going to put this somewhere, maybe just cross the bottom there, just a little crooked. Okay, we'll put this on there, and then I'm going to switch to the Fabri-Tac glue to put that ribbon on. how much of this we want. Probably about maybe about right here. And that's gonna go from about there. Okay. And let's just go right up here with it. be good to put the correct side up. <laughs> Just might help a little bit.
Okay, that makes me happy. That's cute. She's so sweet looking. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll set that one to dry then. Call that one done. That was fun. Um, what else do we want to do? Uh, there was this other ephemera. I was thinking might be something fun to do with this, like maybe on a tag or something. Let me check the time, make sure we're not. Okay, 40 minutes. We're pretty good. Let's see. Could do something with that. Just make a simple tag with that, right? I think so. I mean, maybe we'll add something to it, but it's kind of cute just on its own. And then, you know, the whole back can be journaled on. So that's good, too. So I've done all the sewing on the journal, so I'm actually ready to sew it together, but um, I just thought, you know, I don't feel like doing that. I feel like making a camera, <laughs> so I'll just do that and turn on the camera. So I could put it right under the name right there. That's just kind of cute, just like that, isn't it? Okay. Doesn't always have to be complicated, does it? You know, sometimes you just, sometimes simple is just what you need. Okay. My poor husband, I can hear him coughing up there. Bless his heart. Oh, I hope it's not the flu. And I hope I don't catch it. <laughs> That's the other thing I hope. Okay, so now we can figure out a fun one of Denise's trims to put at the top to top it off. Wow, that is cute. That's a cute little um, digital from Artie Mays too, isn't it? Okay, what about... How about this? Yeah, that would be cute with it. So I'm just gonna cut off a little piece and then just top off the tag. Loop it and pull it through. Yes, super cute. Oh, I love that. I love that little image. That's really cute. Looks fun on that tag, too. And the red in the numbers kind of picks up her dress a little bit. Lovely. I love it. Okay. So, that's done. I started kind of just doing one, haven't I? But part of me wanted to just do some, ex you know, one of each so that you guys could see. What are we going to do with these little guys, do you think? They are so cute. I wonder if there's a piece of the... I mean, there's the tickets from the... From the kit. Um, where'd they go? What'd I do with the kit? Seriously? I mean, really, have I moved? I haven't gotten up or anything and I can't find all that that I had. Well, there's, there's this. I mean, maybe this is, this is it. Okay. Jeez. Thought it was a bigger bag. Look at that. It's kind of cute. Cause it, it you can kind of see, I might just trim off a tiny bit. So it's framed. Ooh, I like that. That's cute. I hope this is fun for you guys to see the sort of the thought process and how to use how to use the kits, you know, um, to show off the kits and and also what you're making. 
guess that's going to kind of have to go over the hole, but that's okay. I might just leave that brown string on there and not do a bulky because then it just fits perfect. Okay, let's just glue it. And we've got one of those little guys done. Do I want to? Maybe I want to give this a little quick. It does help to cover up if you've left any white spots for sure. So when you're cutting it out, you know. Maybe, I wonder, I was thinking, do I have a little, a little tiny flower? I think I do, that could go right up in that corner. Okay, gotta get up for a second again, get to the ephemera box. You guys, I've destroyed my room just grabbing things. <laughs> this is what happens, and then I have to spend half an hour putting it back together so that I can see what I'm doing, but okay, these little kind of peachy colored flowers right here, I think will go perfect. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Stick those somewhere. <laughs> Just make a decision, Kale. Okay, I'm going to move that over a little bit. Okay, it's stuck. It's just going to stay there. That's okay. Um, I think I might want to use Fabri-Tac. Let's just make sure that stays on really good. Okay. Love it. That's so fun. That is so fun. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just just put that one up here. I could have put a little bit of eyelash trim, but I think it would have covered up her face, so I think we're good just as is. Okay, so then I was, the only thing we haven't really played with in the stack is this time card. And these are cool. I was wondering there's a couple of sideways ones here. Like, I was wondering about putting them right in the middle, kind of. I don't know. Let's, let's just cut around them. like this coffee dyed stain up there so but do they just look like they're floating hmm I don't know I don't know if I love that what else do we have I think I like that better I think I like that better don't you And then I think I just, all I want there is like maybe some book page. Do I have any handy? I do have some handy. So, I think what I'm going to do is just... down the words here and then kind of hold it there and then just cut down this side. Ooh, the back of this is cool. Okay, and then, then we'll decide how big we want it. Just, I just want a little bit of framing for her. So I think we'll go right here. Okay. And once again, we're going to distress ink. Oh, 
could we do without it, really? It does, it's just such an easy way to just frame things out a little bit. Give them a little bit of definition that they need. Okay, I'm going to just do the top of this because we'll do the sides when we do the whole thing, I think. Okay, so put that there and her in the middle. And then, I don't know, maybe something hanging down there. I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's see. I gotta get back into my Denise bin down there for a tattered dream and I love this trim. I go through this like water and I love it right there. Yep. Okay. I do think I'm gonna distress ink it up a little bit just because it's it's really white. And then just see how that looks. That just takes a little of the starkness out. It doesn't. I don't need it real dark. I just just kind of wanted to get the starkness out. Okay. So let's glue. There we go. Now it's coming out of there. And put this on. I can kind of line it up with that line on the bottom, which is kind of nice. Yep. And I put her on. going to go right in the middle and actually I think I need to trim off a skosh here because the page is a little too big. Perfect. Okay, and then before we put the lace on, I think I'll just go around the whole card a little bit. Okay. There we go. And then I'm just going to put this at the bottom. I'm thinking I kind of want, kind of want some pearls or something on that. Um, do I have pearls from Denise? Let me just look for a quick second. Hmm, I guess I don't, but. I know I have some over here. It's the good old Hobby Lobby, you know. Okay. So, I want that there, and then I just want to put some pearls there. So, I think I just need all but one. Oh, I think I'm going to come off by, they aren't going to come off in a whole thing. Seriously. Oh yeah, I'm getting it. 
my hands are so full of Fabri-Tac that it's like sticking to me. Okay. Good, good. Let's just put some Fabri-Tac along there. These are sticky on the back, but I never trust the sticky that they come with. I always glue anyway. Okay. Over just a titch. Cute. I like that. All right. So, okay, we're going to call that pearl done for. Um, okay. Now, the thing is, is do I want anything on the top? You know what I think I'm going to do? Is I think I'm going to cut it like this. And then... You guys probably know this, but if you cut a tag and you take the other half and flip it over, then you can cut the other side the exact same angle. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to grab my hole punch. this a little something on the edge okay and then I am going to use this pink this pink eyelash trim from Denise I think I got this one in my nope I didn't I didn't get this one in my Valentine's um, kit that I got from Denise Okay, and then I'm just gonna put that in there. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna make a little tag out of this time card, because that's just the way it's shaped up, you know. Oh, that's that's cute. I like that too. Okay, you guys, I am going to show you everything that we did, and then I'm going to let you go. So, this is the one we just did. Oh boy, did my 